There has been a lot of buzz lately about AV1, an open-source and royalty-free video codec developed by the Alliance for Open Media, a non-profit industry consortium. In the same time, my storage server is almost full at 80% occupied capacity. Much of that has been taken up by 4K videos from recent years, so I'm currently thinking about how I can reduce this space. The videos are random clips from here and there, travel and family memories, for example. They are not intended for future editing, so I can reduce their quality and size with a modern codec. But which codec? At the moment, the two most popular codecs are AV1 and H.265. Let's talk a little bit about them. AV1 or AO Media Video 1 was developed as a successor to VP9, a coding format developed by Google. The founders of Alliance for Open Media are Amazon, Cisco, Google, Intel, Microsoft, Mozilla, Netflix. The Alliance saw expansion of its member list since inception in 2015. AMD, ARM, NVIDIA, Adobe, Facebook, Apple, Samsung, Huawei, Intel, and others joined in the following years. H.265 or MPEG-H Part 2 or HEVC or High Efficiency Video Coding is another modern and popular video codec. It is developed by Joint Collaborative Team on Video Coding and was first made available in 2013. The majority of active patent contributions towards the development of the H.265 format came from five organizations, Samsung, General Electric, M and K Holdings, NTT and JVC Kenwood. The concept for H.265 was largely an extension of H.264, but introduces numerous improvements during the encoding process. The big difference compared to AV1 is that H.265 is not royalty-free. It has a very complicated and expensive royalty structure. The joint shareholders from MPEG LA, HEVC Advance, and Velos Media, which including Ericsson, Panasonic, Qualcomm, Sharp, and Sony, all have different license fees on H.265. What is my use case? I want to store videos. I will not stream them and will not edit them in the future. The videos are basically from three cameras, GoPro Hero 9, Panasonic GH5, and Panasonic G7. All the footage from them is 2160p 4K resolution with different bit rates. All the original footage is encoded in H.264, the predecessor of H.265. I've been reading for the last few days about which codec to choose, but I can't come to a decision. All the hype now is about AV1, but this does not guarantee that it is the better choice. H.265 is older and more developed. AV1 promises that it's the codec of the future. I decided to conduct a test using three source files, one from each camera. For software, I am using Handbrake, free and open source converting tool. For encoding, I am using CPU only. Hardware encoding trades quality for speed. I'm not in a hurry. More info about hardware encoders can be found at Epos Vox video. There are a lot of settings for each encoder. I haven't delved into them too much. For quality, I sat a bit rate of 15 megabits per second. The source file in this example is from the GoPro camera with original bit rate of 100 megabits and 800 megabytes file size. Let's start with H.265 using X.265 encoder. The encoder preset was on default. Slower speed means better quality in theory. The other settings can be seen on the screenshot. On my quad-core AMD Zen 2 CPU, the encoding speed is 002.8 frames per second. And the final file size is 120 megabytes. With AV1 codec, the encoder preset is at 6. The encoding speed is slower at 001.7 FPS, and the final file size is 122 megabytes, or about the same size as H.265. In both cases, it makes a big difference in file size compared to the original source. But what about playback? Although it's not important to me, I decided to check which codec is more CPU intensive during playback. AV1 puts more strain on the CPU, but that's probably to be expected. It's important to note that I am not sure does my hardware and software have a GPU decoding during playback. In terms of quality, I can't see a differences between the two encoded files, but I am not pixel peering.
Another thing I wonder is if and how much the original file matters. If the source files are encoded with H.264, maybe H.265 is the better choice to re-encode, because probably H.265 is more similar to H.264 than AV1 to H.265. In the end, I'll probably go with the H.265. It's interesting to note that a successor to the H.265 has been in development for some time. The name is H.266, or Versatile Video Coding, or VVC. Of course, it promises better compression. But at the moment, it's not available in Handbrake. A X.266 encoder is expected to be publicly released in second half of 2023, but it will take time to be perfected.